Okay, hello, hello, hello. How is everyone? I hope you are all extremely good today. Uh, what is today? Well, it is uh, Friday, the 15th of December. Yep. Uh, shooting through uh, December at the moment, halfway through the 15th today. And I hope that all of you out there are having a excellent, excellent day. So uh, what is today all about? It is all about uh, the webinar that we had last night um, with Ash Mufara and uh, COO Mohammed Kamal. Uh, they were on there and they did a webinar for us uh, on OConnect. And there was around, just over about 2,000, 2,500 people on when I was on there. And the written updates have been put into the O Founders back office, if you're a founder. And what today's session is all about is going over uh, what yesterday's uh, meeting was all about. So as always, before I get into that, um, what I like to do is to sort of give you a bit of a insight into uh, our CEO. Uh, to what he was like uh, on the webinar and I thought he had uh, looked really well he'd obviously had a bit of a groom and he looked extremely relaxed and considering what he told us uh, it makes you even more amazed really at how relaxed he was yesterday and a lot of this is to do with he knows you know, he knows where the company's at, where what's happening behind the scenes. And he certainly had a uh, aura about him that he was extremely confident and extremely relaxed. And if you couple this with what we know as far as what has been going on, uh, then absolutely amazing. But it was great to see him needed, uh, in my opinion. Uh, I thought it was perfect timing uh, for him to come out and to do this meeting. We hadn't seen him for a couple of weeks. And, you know, there's been a lot of uh, speculation, a lot of stuff circulating on social media. And it was absolutely perfect timing to see him on a webinar. So without further ado, then let's get into uh, what was said on this webinar. Uh, and we'll just walk you through uh, all the things that he welcomed us and he said thank you so much uh, for coming on at sh such short notice only sort of five hours or so for most of us and it was only a brief meeting just to update us a lot uh, the affiliates exactly where we were uh, in on passive at this time on December the 14th it was um, he actually did say, and uh, this was quite an interesting part, and I certainly know that myself, Martin, and Chris, on a daily basis, keep harping on about this, don't we? And he actually said himself, mostly when we are not around, it's because things are happening in the background or things just really aren't completed. They're not concrete. They haven't actually finished. And he doesn't really think there's any point in coming uh, to do a webinar if there's nothing concrete to tell us about. But on this occasion, he wanted to come uh, because uh, there was certain things that needed addressing and it needed addressing shorter, shorter rather than later uh, because of things that had been released into uh, some of the uh, social media and also into different countries. So he said, uh, we do have some drama, some good drama and some good and bad things. Uh, he said, but don't worry. Uh, we don't share the pain with you guys out there. We go to hell and back, he said, on a daily basis. More than once, he said, we take all that pain so you guys don't have to. And really, Marty said this, and I'm going to reiterate what he said as well is that I've always been an extremely proud uh, founder, affiliate of On Passive over the well over five years that I've been involved with them. 
And after yesterday's webinar, if I was proud before, then I am brimming with pride right now just to be part of the company, to be part of On Passive, to know that I was one of these people that have seen this company from the very, very beginning to where we are now. I've always been proud of my part in On Passive and yesterday really did, uh, for me, affirm my belief in the company. It affirmed exactly knowing I am in the right pl place. If you remember, I did that post in the early, early part of this week saying my eggs are firmly all in one basket. Why? Because I am 100% behind on passive and what it is trying to achieve. But he did bring up some really good points uh, during the meeting last night. And we're going to go over all lots of these bits. He said, these are the brief uh, things at the moment which are happening. He says, yes, we've got a few challenges, a few hiccups and blocks and in the most part everything is under control but some are still pending now why is he telling us this he's basically saying that with all best intentions everything cannot get cleared just as a flick of a switch some things take a little bit longer than anticipated something might happen that will affect something else he said, I know, I'm sorry, it might sound all a little bit vague, uh, but I wanted to bring you guys up to speed so that you actually get what is happening. What we are doing is not typical, and sometimes it's very uncomfortable and threatening to some other businesses and even individuals. He said, and I can tell you why. And we are doing the everything a favour. Uh, for the users by keeping the bad part uh, away and taking that on board as a company ourselves. We've actually had our fair challenges uh, from, from uh, ex-employees. He said, but headache and heartache that we get in on passive is actually from founding members that's where the most pain come from he says and this really has been consistent actually Mohammed Kamal uh, all there for the foundership can we not bring that forward and let's just get rid of the founders because of the amount of heartache and hassle that uh, founders bring to the table of on passive really sometimes it's not worth the heartache to go through that they are causing them he said but all in all we want to keep our promises to the deserving founding members. The majority, he said, uh, the majority that really do deserve uh, to be there. We want to keep our promises. He said, he also said that we have characters and we, will, we have character and we will keep our promises and not spoil the show just for a few random people that want to bring heartache to the on passive table. We have had issues, obviously, as you well know, with banks and vendors and financial institutions. And we literally do go to hell and back on a daily basis. It's really accurate uh, to what we have to go through, those sentiments, he said. Now, he also said we could have made a decision uh, to simply draw a line under where we are right now as far as on passive is concerned with the founders the business model and all the rest of it he said we could have drawn a line under this rebranded the business into a new business uh and then basically gone on our own without any founders without any resellers without any affiliates uh as part of the company and guess what? They would have been really, really successful doing that. Why? Because, as we well know, the products that they have developed are second to none. So we could have done that. But then there would be no affiliates, no Obless, no Academy. And there would be a new name. Obviously, 
this isn't didn't sit very well with our CEO, but it would have been the easy option. That's the easiest thing to do. But it's not necessarily the right thing to do. He said if he was a normal human being, he would have done that. He would have quit and he would have gone solo as a company. But he's not. He's not a quitter. And in fact, he actually took the choice to quit thinking about quitting, which was quite funny, really, at, at the time. Why? Because that's not what it was all about. That was not the whole reason why on passive was developed back in those early days. Has the business model changed? Absolutely, it has. It has changed dramatically over the five year period. But the bottom line is he wants to do what he is doing in on passive for the benefit of many and not a few. So if I'd have thought about quitting and renaming and rebranding, then I would not be uplifting humanity, he said. He would not be trying to fix issues in other countries. He gave the analogy of PNG. If he'd have quit, he wouldn't have been able to be in a position to change an awful lot of people's lives. He said, actually, I love challenges. And we are born to do this. And so winners never quit. So when we choose to be winners, we do believe the worst of us of what is happening is behind us. And we will FFF all the way. What's that mean? Fun, fun, fun. All the way. He said, we want to share with you the challenges, but it's mostly muddy and slippery. I don't want to stay here talking about how bad it has been behind the scenes. But I really do want to give you an idea of the challenges that we have had over the last few months. We have learned a lot, though. Experience doesn't come cheap. We have had some really, really tough times. But we are much more experienced now. We are much more knowledgeable. And so we can hold our heads high going forward into the future. Today, we don't think anything else can actually happen to us. Why? Because all of the pitfalls that we thought didn't think have happened and we have got through them. He then mentioned about payments. He said the bulk payment to the banks is taking time. But we do have a solution and we should be able to take care of that uh, but it's not just a click of the button he said there's a few touch-ups here and there he said but uh, we will get there and starting Monday that's Monday of next week uh, they're going to start testing all of the payment systems on a drip feed basis to begin with and then that will start getting wrapped up, wrapped up as long as it's all working correctly he also said the crypto crypto pay bulb, bulk payout is ready and we will be testing this again uh, Monday of next week. He said one update I have got for you, he said. Remember, if you go back to a couple of weeks on to 360, he said that maybe uh, everything that's impending as far as payouts is concerned. Uh, he said initially... They might wipe that slate clean and to give other people uh, the ability to change it. He said, but that's not. He said, that's not going to be cleared out of the uh, payouts uh, that have been requested because there have been so many that have been verified and a lot of processes have gone through with what is in queue. He said, we will uh, put an option there, though, for people to be able to edit them themselves. And obviously, if uh, a change needs to be done, then obviously the company will do that. Uh, so next time you go in there, when that option is available, you can either leave as it is or you can edit yourself. This will be available uh, next week sometime, OK, for everyone to do. So keep an eye out on the withdrawal section of your ecosystem and you'll be able to go in there and edit things if you need to. And he also said if everything goes well, and we hope it does, by the way, it will be uh, next week and then we'll be able to share the ash bomb with you. And it will be a game changer. He said it, not only is it going to be a game changer, it's going to be a paragraph, paragraph 
shift, Paragon shift. And this is really what a lot of us have been waiting for, isn't it? In the, in the backgrounds, the ash bomb. Uh, but he mentioned it again uh, yesterday that as long as all the payments, etc., all fall into place as it should do, then that's going to get dropped on to us um, next week or so. Uh, and he will let us know all about that. We then got on to a little bit of ugly. Now, uh, before I get into it, it's actually my opinion that it was really good that he came out and said it. Uh, I Again, I go back to how proud I am of being part of this company. And really, now is the time for us to get behind the company as true affiliates should do. Why? Because... There is some unscrupulous people about, isn't there? And he went into a lot of detail uh, to tell us about some of the problems that they're having. Now, I am certainly not singling out any country here. I'm just going over the uh, the recap he said. But he did mention that in Bangladesh, uh, we have had an awful lot, a lot of problems. Now, if you were on the webinar last night, uh, I actually congratulated the company uh, for having problems. Why? Because if there is people who are trying to manipulate the company or push back against the company, it means we're doing something right. We're doing something that other people, other businesses don't like. And this is why they either want to take advantage of us or they want to try and manipulate us in some way, sh uh, some way, uh, shape or form. Now, in Bangladesh, there's been an awful lot of problems. There's been multiple issues, um, and one of them is their one of their banks uh, has labelled on passive as a MLM, which we're not, by the way, uh, and that we are not legal which is all fabricated lies. We are registered uh, in Bangladesh as a proper business. We've uh, been paying rent on an office in Bangladesh now for well over a year. And basically what's happened is um, some founders have been spreading an awful lot of intruths throughout the Bangladesh community and the banks have interviewed these people and really uh, been given the wrong information. And rather than coming to the company uh, with the problems, they have just issued press releases that have gone viral over there. And obviously, a lot of the very good Bangladesh uh, affiliates have got very nervous about this. And this is one of the things that our CEO wanted to address. He went into detail to tell us about the multiple uh, attacks they've had through the payment system and also through uh, O founders and founders joining using false credit cards, false names, false addresses. And we're not talking about one or two. He gave us the example that somebody tried to purchase O Connect 100 and 80 times in one minute. This could not be done individually. It means that somebody is trying to hack the system. And obviously, the payment processors have to put a stop on it all. And this causes all sorts of glitches and had to cease activity. It's not professional uh, to let for them to label us uh, as an MLM and an unlicensed company in back. Bangladesh, we got a trading license, as I've said, and is in contact with them and it will be resolved. We are legal and we are not fraudulent and we certainly are not an MLM. Founding members uh, were boasting about on passive in a very insane way, he said, and therefore their bank is uninformed properly. Instead of coming to us, uh, they decided to just do a press release. And obviously, this is completely unfounded. He also said, we don't want Bangladesh founding members uh, to pay with cards at the moment. Okay, some were using uh, hundreds of accounts 
and they failed and disputes have to be raised, etc. And it all causes all sorts of problems. So just for the moment, uh, until it all gets resolved, uh, people from Bangladesh will not be able to pay using any cards. OK, why is he telling us this? Because the integrity and security of the company is paramount. It goes way above individuals and it certainly goes way above countries. And if there is an individual or a country that is threatening the uh, business in any shape, way or form, then they will take action. And that action, unfortunately, means that for the time being, uh, payments from the country of Bangladesh will be uh, suspended as far as cards are concerned. Uh, and obviously, there will be other options for you to pay, but it will certainly not be by cards at the moment. So please, guys, uh, if you are from Bangladesh and you are getting error messages whilst using your card, that is the reason why. And you will have to, for now, find another solution. He also did say, actually, that Bangladesh is not the only country that is causing uh, on passive problems as far as fraudulent activity is concerned. India was um, mentioned as well. And they are monitoring that uh, as well to make sure uh, that it doesn't get out of control like it did in Bangladesh. So, guys, if you are a true affiliate and founder of On Passive, please, guys, please, if you know of any wrongdoings, report it. Simple as that. Report it. OK, this is your company on Passive is your company without on passive we have nothing and what we want to do is to do our part as affiliates for the company and that is to help protect that company because without it we've got nothing so we have to do our part as well and that means unfortunately if you know of somebody that has been malicious somebody who is trying to screw the system then the, you need to report the this to uh, either one of us or to the company itself. He said, but the good news is we are here to stay and we are going to win. We're not just going to win. We're going to win big. And the only thing we will quit, remember that, is quitting to think about quitting. So you will also see uh, the credit card payments uh, increasing. More and more people are uh, able to do this. Um, obviously, this had to be controlled, yeah, but bulk payments are coming. Uh, this will be coming beginning of next week, as long as everything uh, goes according to plan. He reiterated once more, we will never be an MLM model. Uh, and he is it forecasting that next week will be an incredible week for all of us in on passive if we have to restrict this in a few countries to protect the rest then we would now we will do this and i hope you will all understand why our focus is to find out who is doing that and when we do get that we will uh, not only uh, resolve it but we will also ask them to be no longer part of on passive so basically, they will lose their accounts. Make no mistake, they said, on passive is registered in Bangladesh, not as an MLM. And we have offices in the capital paying rent for over a year. We have a financial department. We've got a lawyer. And any questioning why uh, they we were questioning, why not come and speak to us and investigate before they ever did a press release. That now, by the way, is in the hands of our lawyer in um, Bangladesh and we are hoping to have a resolution very very shortly. We then heard from our COO Mohammed Kamal and he said sorry I hadn't seen you face to face for a, a long time uh, but he said he has been very very busy. Um, they've been facing daily issues uh, and this goes off the back of what Ash Mafari was saying and 
Mohammed actually gave us a really big breakdown of the kinds of things that they are seeing on a daily basis. The toing and throwing uh, from the payment processor of what they are seeing their end and asking Mohammed to take more control over uh, founders who are trying to do this. He said <coughs> it is causing all sorts of problems. He said once, uh, he said, I'm still in Egypt, been there for over a month, working behind the scenes at the new uh, Egyptian offices. And he said, once we open the card payments, we are controlling volume. So many have seen the failed notice there. This is on purpose because we have been controlling the flow and the process. Like I said, uh, we had issues with Bangladesh processing 186. I said 180, 186 payments in less than an hour. This is not from a human being. Uh, it's obviously from a uh, bot that has been used it and it caused all sorts of problems and it completely has disrupted the system. Uh, we've been working diligently to control this and to stop this. We've found them using fake addresses from uh, the USA, even though they are in Bangladesh themselves. It's unbelievable what people are doing to try and get round the system. So we've had to restrict them. It was literally an attack on the payment processor of on passive. We are doing our best to increase options for people to pay almost on a daily basis. And you will see more and more ways of being able to pay when you get to that payment page within uh, the, your ecosystem. We have learned a lot, he said, and we have to protect our company in the proper way. He said, I, very, I am sorry many of you are feeling frustrated, but I assure you we are doing our very, very best to stabilize the products and bring you resolutions. We are trying to control uh, everything so that we can increase the limits. He said, thank you so much for your patience. And I look forward to seeing all of you again very, very soon. Ash then came back on, basically just to recap uh, what has been said. He said, we are committed to go through this with you because we have made the choice to make a difference and uplift humanity and significantly in a significant positive uh, way and to share a legacy. In a nutshell, On Passive is a clean and good company. We love to do it the clean way. And in fact, that is the reason we are being fought back and the reasons we are a good appetite to all the corrupt people. We are a serious threat to them and everything we do, uh, we are not able to dodge the very first time. But we fight every single day uh, and that's not just once a day, many times a day for the benefit of the company, especially you, the founders. We are able to block many things before it arose to the public, many, many attacks, he said, but some do get through, but we will win. You may lose a few battles, he said, but we will always win the war. He said the testimonials uh, that we get are very clear. We are doing it for humanity, he said. Our team are doing this not for themselves, but for the company and for the humanitarian part of it they had choices they joined us because of this it's their passion to make a difference for the world Bangladesh he said we love you we really do but really you are painful at the same time many of the good and clean and big-hearted people are there as well so we are working for those that are clean and have the good hearts they will not change us they will not define us but we are going to make a difference. He also then said, tell people, let go of the past. He said, we are a completely different animal from what we were five years ago. We've evolved. We are changed almost on a daily basis. Many founders, he said, are not understanding. We are not founders only any longer. In fact, he said that we are over 3 million strong. We have evolved 360 degrees and completely different today 
in what we were when we attracted and partnered with you. We will win better if they follow the rules. Let go of the past, evolve, or unfortunately, we will let you go as well. Let it go, or we will have to let you go. You must change your mind. We are a brick and mortar company. We are doing it for you and the gain of humanity. If you decide you are going to be superior or ahead or try and do something that is unethical, then unfortunately you will fail. We have to work together and win together. It is the only way it is going to work. He said, remember this, the past, your past is not a death sentence. Tell your story, but tell your new story. It doesn't define you, your past, but it will help you in your future. Anyway, that is what happened last night. I'd like to thank Daryl Cook, Janet Butler. Hope you're feeling better, by the way, Janet. And also Peter Sarur. And uh, who else has a hand in it? Um, Dan Street as well. For me, like I said, fantastic webinar. Great to hear from him. Big week next week. That's the bottom line is. Uh, keep fighting, guys. Don't get, don't lose your dreams. Don't lose your focus of where you want to be within On Passive. And I am sure with the help of On Passive, you will get everything that you personally want. How can we not win when we have a company fighting so hard for us, normal people? I've never been part of a company that have that desire to want to help so much for the normal everyday individual on the street and that on the street and that is why I am so proud of being a member of on passive anyway guys thank you so much for coming on and listening to the recap uh, I'm not here at the weekend uh, working last Christmas uh, function Jane's on grandkids duty tomorrow seeing Santa and Jane and myself will be back around on Monday for another Monday fun day. And boy, is it going to be a big, big week. Looking forward to it. That is for sure. Remember, everything that Ash said is going to happen. OK, so keep the faith, guys. Keep looking and Keep plugged in and you will certainly not miss anything. Anyway, guys, that's it from me. Hope you have a great weekend. Bye for now.